Hey, this is Jason with Guitar Center. We are live here at NAMM 2014, checking out what's new. We have a very special product to introduce today. We're here at the Zildjian booth. I've got Paul with me. Paul, it's great to meet you. Nice Thanks for doing you. this today. Absolutely. Let's talk about what we got back here. Sure, new for 2014 from Zildjian is a new voice in the K Zildjian series. We're calling it Karope, and that's paying homage to uh, the K and K Zildjian. Karop ran the foundry over in Turkey from 1865 to 1909. And in the, the Zildjian history books, he was uh, kind of touted as the most talented out of all the Zildjians. They kind of brought symbol making to another level. Some of the things that we looked at was the bell shape. So the bells on these actually start up very shallow. And then we hammer them up into a new shape. So each bell on whether a 22 or a 20, um, it's individual to that piece of metal. So you'll, you're going to hear that the Kropes have a family sound, but each, each 22 or each 20 or 18 or 19 are very individualistic, and that's based on everything that we explored. So check it out. And, and as, you, as you notice, it doesn't have a model name. It's a 22-inch symbol. Please do with it as you like. As you wish. Very cool. Is that kind of consistent throughout the line? Yes. Yes. So now we're going to move on to the 20. Same kind of idea as the 22. And uh, this bell is not exactly the same. We, we did this bell for the 20. So you're going to hear some great stick, integrated bell, crash sound. So here's a 20 inch symbol. So for the consumer, this is a symbol they don't want to order online. They need to go into a store, they need to play them and find the one that speaks to them. Exactly. That's what you want to do with these because this is old school, man. Very, very cool. So we started off making just 15 inch hi-hat prototypes because this is kind of quintessential, you know, uh, Motown. Ringo did a lot of stuff on sure, 15s yeah, yeah, yeah. In, the, in the early Beatles stuff and you can swing on them. But here's the 15 tier. I'll, I'll play this pair here. The top is thin to medium thin, and the bottom is medium. I mean, that's got Motown written all over it. Yeah. That sounds like the older hi-hat sound the guys are looking for. And again, not necessarily labeling them, it's not the fact that they are hi-hats. Right. And you said that the top is what weight? It's thin to medium thin. And then the bottoms are medium. Medium, yeah. So we'll move on to the, the 14s, but one thing I want to point out is each of the models, you know, when we were doing the cup shape, the cups on the 15s are bigger than the 14s, which when you look at regular Zildjian Hi-Hats, the cup is the same. So we really kind of, you know, uh, shape the cup to voice the symbol for what we knew that it needed to do. So in the difference in the cup, what does that do between the two symbol sizes? Well, a larger cup's going to give you a little bit more volume. And in a, in a 15, you know, they, they tend to be uh, lower in pitch. So we, we shaped this a little bit higher, and we, we're going to get a little bit more highs out of it. So that is a great sounding set of hats. Yeah. So over here we have 18s and 19s, and, and these would be considered like uh, a heavy paper thin or, or, or a really you know, light thin style symbol. Now, we're not calling them a crash, but these sizes generally lend themselves to being sure. crashes. But sure. I'm going to ride them okay. so you can hear. How, how quickly it opens up. What's amazing is, is there is articulation there when you were riding it. Yeah. So that's one of the 18s. Here's the other. And I'm, I'm just tickling them to get them to open up. And now we have the 19s. A nice hint of trash in that crash yeah. when you hit it. So, Thank you so much, Paul, for the time. We appreciate it. We've been hanging out here, seeing what's new at the Zildjian booth, NAM 2014, checking out the Karope symbols. You've heard it here first, folks. Thank you so much. This is Jason with Guitar Center. You'll be able to find these in your local store and guitarcenter.com.